This is a rematch from 2017 when Rene Alvarado won by a stoppage in round seven. Since then, Gutierrez has looked fantastic. He promises a knockout tonight. He's six years younger than Rene Alvarado, and, but it's Alvarado who will have almost a three inch reach advantage. And this is for the Super Featherweight Championship of the World. Gutierrez from Venezuela in the purple trunks. Alvarado from Nicaragua wearing the blue and white. Gutierrez said in their first fight that he broke his hand in the second round and that he just couldn't get the job done. Tonight, he's fresh, he's healthy, and he's full of confidence. Sergio, you went out on a very big limb by calling this the fight of the year. Well, we're only two days in. <laughs> oh, now you're t stealing my line, huh? <laughs> if this holds up for 363 days, kudos to you. No one's landed a punch yet, by the way. No, no, they, look, it's because it's a rematch. It's because they're, they're so heavy-handed. Both of them only go one way. The writing's on the wall, like I said. Already booed. Oh, the fight of the year is being booed out of the building. <laughs> One minute in. Boy, these fans are high expectations here in Dallas, I'm telling you. Looks a weight class bigger, doesn't it? Yeah. That stung him. And again, how about this close to round one for Roger Gutierrez? Look at the kid go, and they're opening it up now. Final seconds of round one. And that's what I expected. Get ready for more, Todd. Gutierrez buckling Alvarado with a right hand, and Alvarado coming right back with a right hand of his own. Gutierrez fighting for a bigger purpose tonight, recently lost his mother to cancer. That was in November, and here he is in the ring now, and he said, it's my debt to my mother. I owe it to her to bring the world title back to Venezuela in her memory. That's a lot of pressure to put on yourself. Aggression's the only key for both these fighters, but right now it's Gutierrez fighting a little bit more uh, patient. You know, uh, Alvarado's coming in, throwing some nice shots in the inside, but I like the way Gutierrez is staying disciplined behind a long jab. Alvarado coming in on an eight-fight winning streak. He hasn't lost since 2017 when Yuriokos Gamboa beat him. It's a rematch from 2017, a fight Alvarado won. After Gutierrez broke his hand in the... Ooh, oh, nice uppercut, and that sits out! Stunning right uppercut. Five, and Alvarado's hurt. Six, he didn't see that uppercut seven, come from the bottom like that. Come to me. He doesn't look good. He does not look good. Gutierrez, left, straight, right. Are we about to see a new world champion crown in Dallas, Texas? Here comes the kid, Gutierrez. Backed him up again. He's down for the second time. It's code red time for Rene Alvarado. Can't get dropped again. A minute 40 to go here in round two. Gutierrez swinging wildly, trying to back Gutierrez off him a little bit. If you're Gutierrez, you've got to keep looking for that uppercut. The foundation appears to be gone. An uppercut, he's stumbling around again. I love the patience being shown by Gutierrez right here, looking for the clean shot. The referee taking a good look. It seems like Alvarado, though, still has his wits. His body just isn't cooperating. It's only going to take one more big punch for Gutierrez. Alvarado has the wits, but right now he's lacking the hits. Can never count out Alvarado though. 20 knockouts in his 31 wins. 
plenty of power himself. Gutierrez might have punched himself out a little bit there in those first two minutes. Watch your heads, guys. Ooh, he just got caught with the left hook. There's another one. And now Alvarado. Gutierrez is looking for that same right uppercut. It's not, it's not going to land anymore. Alvarado already, already felt that. See, he's doing it again. And he got caught with a whipping right hand from Alvarado. Because that's a dangerous punch to throw as a lead punch, a straight right uppercut. Blood Nine. trickling down Nine. the face now of Gutierrez. Gutierrez. And out comes the mouthpiece. That right uppercut is very dangerous to throw as a taller fighter, especially if you keep throwing it over and over. You're bound to get caught. And I think Chris may be on to something. Gutierrez seemed to appreciate those few seconds to collect himself. So we will head to round four. Two knockdowns for Roger Gutierrez. Go ahead. For somebody who was just dropped down convincingly in a round twice, Rene Alvarado seems pretty fresh. <laughs> round four, scheduled for 12 for the WBA Super Featherweight title. You know, Alvarado does have those seven, those eight losses, but he's only been stopped in one of them, so he knows how to go the distance even after being hurt. In a, in a fight that he avenged, so he knows how to react like a champion. And right now, his eyes look really clear to me. I like the way that he came out in this round. He looks like he uh, he rejuvenated, and he's not as hurt as he was at, in, the, in the last round. Good straight right for Gutierrez. Oh, and another one. I should have said straight right from Alvarado, pardon me. But Gutierrez does not look nearly as good as he did two rounds ago. The tables, as we mentioned earlier, have turned in this one. Alvarado's eyes are clean. Punching cleanly and putting the pressure on Gutierrez. Yeah, look at Gutierrez's face. Blood streaming from his eyebrow. Bruised. Good shoe shine and then downstairs. It feels like Alvarado's starting to find his form as this fight goes along. Momentum has shifted, definitely shifted. Right now it looks it's all going Alvarado's way. Gutierrez bloody backing up. Stop. Break. But he is damaged because Alvarado has not stopped punching. And it looks like Alvarado's catching a second win. Putting a lot more pressure on Gutierrez. And that's what I want to see from Gutierrez right now. Smother the punches of Alvarado. Hold on if you have to. That uppercut, sneaky uppercut again right there by Alvarado. Box out. Another quiet round by both these fighters. I mean, after the hellacious start of this fight, you know, to go back and fight behind the jab and show discipline like Gutierrez is. It's smart for him to do, but it's also get encouraging Alvarado to come forward, put the pressure on, and, and get these rounds, these middle rounds. I love the way Alvarado tries to close strong last 10 seconds, trying to get his late shots in. And another one of those rounds where he can really give it to either guy. Right. Combination work there for Gutierrez. Every punch landed counts now. It appears this one will go to the scorecards, and both Gareth Davies and Chris Mannix had it even just a few rounds ago. So anyone can win this fight hypothetically with just two rounds left. 
Break. Break. Ten seconds to go here in round 11. This fight has been spectacular at times. Had some lulls in the action, but both men continue to throw. Nice. Uh, Excuse me, guys. It was a left hook that sent Alvarado down here in the 12th and final round. He's got the knockdown. Oh, this is incredible. Absolutely. So Alvarado's down. Sorry to interrupt you guys. But a huge moment here in the 12th round as Gutierrez just locked this thing up. And it was a half hook, half uppercut that caught him. It was a 45-degree 45, 45 punch. Alvarado has come back fighting before. He needs something magical. He could need a knockdown as well here right. to keep pace with the kid. Gutierrez told us, Chris, that that's where he went wrong in the first fight. He was over aggressive and stood in the inside too long with Alvarado. That's what he's not doing this fight, and that's why I think he's more strategic. Yeah, but that was over seven rounds. I'm talking about the final 45 seconds. Here we go. Ten seconds left. Alvarado trying to break the clinch. He knows he needs something dramatic here, but he's not going to get it. There you have it. Do we have a new champion? If you knock your opponent down three times, the odds of winning the fight are probably in the high upper 90 percentile. But that may not be the case in this one. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 championship rounds of boxing, we now go to the judges scorecard. All three judges have the identical score, 113, 112. For your winner by unanimous decision, in the new wow. WPA Super Featherweight Champion of the World from Maracaibo, Venezuela, for King Roger. Oh, my God.